Hello, my name is Brandon Enright, and this video is going to be on the science of sticker removal. Or that is, I need to remove some stickers and I'm going to set it up like a science experiment. When I last dyed some puzzles with um, RIT dye, and dyed in black with acetone and RIT dye, um, a number of people asked me, well, you know, can you dye the milk white color or the milk yellow color? Can you dye colored plastic? Um, or how do you remove stickers from a puzzle when all the stickers are all gunked up and it's really hard to remove them? So this first video is going to be me trying automated ways to remove these stickers so that there's not much manual labor involved. Um, and then the second video will be me dyeing all of these puzzles together. And so the idea I have for how to remove these stickers is various different solvents. So this is denatured alcohol. Actually, let me remove the tape on that. So that's denatured alcohol. Um, basically, it's um, what is it? It's ethanol combined with methanol combined with like one percent of a denaturing agent to make it poisonous. This is mineral spirits, which is essentially lighter fluid. I'm not going to use mech because it'll dig, it'll melt the pieces. I'm not going to use acetone because it'll melt the pieces. Um, and then I'm going to try 70% isopropyl alcohol. And so because I'm going to set this up like a science experiment, I need a control. Um, so I'm going to use water and air as a control. So I'm going to do it in these bottles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this thing apart. I'm going to spread the pieces relatively evenly across the controls and the different solvents. And then we're going to see which one does what. And if none of them look like they're doing anything, maybe I'll shake the bottles a little bit. Um, and we'll see if there's an automated way to remove stickers from one of these puzzles. My money is on the mineral spirits working. But who knows, maybe the denatured or maybe even the isopropyl will work. So uh, you should be able to note the time. It's 2.11. Uh, that's in UTC. So it's uh, 7.11 in the evening, or no, 6.11 in the evening. Um, and I'm just, I'm not going to cheat, even though I'm going to stop the video a whole bunch of stop and start it, stop and start it, depending on what needs to be done. Um, that'll always keep track of the real time. So I'm going to go fill these up and label them and, and then start the video again. Okay, I filled up each one of the containers. So this one has air, this one has water, this one has soap and water, this one has denatured alcohol, this one has isopropyl alcohol, and this one has mineral spirits. I've also taken apart the puzzle. This is the core, it doesn't have any stickers on it, we're going to ignore it. And I'm going to stick a few pieces with stickers and a few without stickers in each one of these. Now that does not work well.
Okay, that's all of them. And so I'm gonna cap each one of these. And just so you can see it, the time is 2.32. And I'm gonna let these sit in their respective substances for a while and I'll check on them. And if they look like they need shaking, I'll shake them. And uh, if one of them looks like they're making progress, then uh, we'll take a look at that one and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, it's been about an hour. Um, so now it's 3.31. And so far the air pieces are not really doing so well. I don't see any stickers coming off or anything like that. Um, so that's air. And I can't really see any progress on the soap and water. Can't really see any progress on the water. In fact, I can't really see any progress on any of them. Isopropyl alcohol, it doesn't look like any stickers are coming off or anything like that. This is mineral spirits. So I'm going to try uh, shaking each one of these a lot and see if I can get any stickers off or anything like that. There's a chance that uh, none of these substances remove any stickers. So I'm going to start shaking them and then I'll, uh, I'll switch back on the video uh, and report if there's any progress. Okay, I gave them all a pretty rigorous shake and I still don't see any stickers coming off and I still don't see any goo or gunk on any of the pieces coming off. Um, and since they've been sitting in this uh, in the solvents for about an hour and there's no progress, it's probably going to be an overnight thing. So I'll probably uh, pick up the video tomorrow after it's been around 24 hours and see if anything uh, see if anything makes any progress in a 24 hour period of time. Okay, it's been about 24 hours. Um, and I noticed several hours after I was leaving these that uh, the mineral spirits started to make some progress, actually significant progress, and none of the other ones appeared to make any progress. And now, if you look at the mineral spirits one, it may be hard to see on the camera, the stickers are basically off all of the pieces. Not only that, but the pieces themselves look pretty clean. Um, they just look like white. There doesn't appear to be any gunk or goo on them. Pair that to isopropyl alcohol, and the stickers are still on the pieces, and most of the surfaces of the pieces still look sort of gooey. So th there's an example right there on that piece. It's sort of a... Some of the pieces still look really messy, really gooey, right? Like that. The denatured alcohol seems to have done a little bit better. Um, some of the pieces are less gooey. But it also appears to be eating away at the color on the stickers. So some of the stickers have like this weird like faded color to them. Or like the pink stickers have like this gr weird gray discoloration to them. But it doesn't appear to actually be removing the stickers or cleaning the goo off of the pieces. H2O, water hasn't seemed to have done anything. Soapy water does not seem to have done anything. And not surprisingly, air is also not really doing anything. So what I think that means is that the only substance, the only solvent here that's going to work is mineral spirits. Now, mineral spirits, mineral spirits, it's just a light hydrocarbon, like a lighter fluid. So if you want to use a lighter fluid, that'll work just fine. Um, unfortunately, I'm out. I used my last little bit of mineral spirits in that. I have another hydrocarbon, VMMP naphtha. It's basically the exact same thing. As far as I've been able to figure out from Googling and Wikipedia, this is a slightly heavier hydrocarbon. That is, it has a higher specific gravity, I believe. But ultimately, they smell exactly the same. They're both hydrocarbons. They're both basically the same. And so I'm going to use this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty all of these out and clean them, except for the mineral spirits. Then I'm going to put all the pieces in the mineral spirits bottle. Then I'm going to top it off with another hydrocarbon. It's basically the same thing. Um, and I'm going to soak all the stickers off um, with that. So 
I, I anticipate based on last night, I started to notice significant results at around two hours, maybe three hours. Um, so I'll probably just have to move all of these and, and add more hydrocarbon um, and wait another couple hours and it, the puzzle should be completely done and clean. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that and then I'll start the video and, and show that. Okay, I've rinsed off all the pieces and put them into the mineral spirits, which you know now it's a mineral spirits plus BMP naphtha, so it's essentially a hydrocarbon uh, hydrocarbon mix at this point. Um, and I filled it up so that it just covers the pieces. And I'm gonna wait for all the stickers to float off and for all the gunk on all the pieces to go away. Um, hopefully it'll only be a few hours. If it's only a few hours, I'll probably get to dye in the puzzle tonight. Otherwise, it'll have to wait till tomorrow. So, until next time. All right, it's been another 24 hours or so since we uh, discovered that mineral spirits or hydrocarbons in general are the right solvent to use to remove the stickers. And I've looked through here and I don't see a single piece with a sticker on it. It looks like the stickers have floated off all of the pieces. And for the most part, I can't really find any stickers with any gunk or goo on them either. I, I think I found one or two. They must not have been like fully submerged or something. But uh, in general, all the pieces look completely clean. Um, so I don't think I'm going to have to do any manual or, or very, very little manual cleanup work on these pieces once I get them out. Um, one of the problems is, is that I can't dispose of the mineral spirits. You can't pour it down the drain. It's, it's not miscible with water. That is, it, it doesn't mix with water. It's like an oil. Um, and you can't pour it down the drain. I mean, it has a very low flash point of like 140 degrees or so. Um, so any spark, any heat, or anything like that would be an explosion. Plus, you can't really wash it down because the water won't mix with it. Um, and it would take so long to evaporate this, and I don't really have a place to do it, that what I plan on doing is actually reclaiming the mineral spirits. Um, I'm going to do something like that. I'm going to pour it through a screen, and, and hopefully I won't make much of a mess. Um, and any of the messes that I do make, I'm going to have to wipe up with paper towels. And, and I think that I'm probably going to have to either evaporate the paper towels outside or possibly burn them. Um, because it wouldn't be safe to throw away. Uh, mineral spirits is well known for, for autom automatically igniting when you mix it with a cloth or something like that. And it just gets close to a heat source and it, it just ignites in flames. Um, so I'm going to filter out all of the out of, all the mineral spirits out of here and then I'm going to uh, pour the pieces out and then see how they are and um, see if they need any cleanup work. So I'll, I'll show that video when, when I get there. Okay, it turned out to be really easy to get the mineral spirits out of the bottle through the net and into the container um, without it spilling anything, so I didn't make any mess. I didn't have to use any paper towels to clean up or anything like that. Um, the pieces are in here. You can see a whole bunch of stickers just stayed in the bottle. Um, and then there are a bunch of stickers in here too. And so what I'm going to try to show is the pieces in the sink. And actually, let me put on nitrile gloves. Give me a second. Okay. Um, oh, these gloves are filthy. Hold on. Okay. So there are the stickers look like they've separated into pieces, which it was probably done by the denatured alcohol before we moved all the pieces into the into the mineral spirits. 
Um, I don't really see any pieces that have any goo on them at all. Um, oh, here's a piece that... Oh, no, it doesn't have goo. It's goo on the sticker, not goo on the piece. Um, okay, here's a piece that has some goo on it. And I don't know... Okay, the goo just rubs right off. It, it's not really gooey anymore. It's just sort of slimy, and it just sort of rubs right off. So I'll grab a paper towel here. Let's see if I can show that. Okay, here's a piece that has some goo on it. And... No more goo. There's another piece that has some goo on it. No more goo. Um, okay, here's another piece that has some goo on it. And no more goo. Oh, it's actually hard to find pieces that are messy. Oh, okay, this piece is filthy. Let's see what happens. Okay, that piece has tons of goo on it. Um, and so let's see if we can wipe it off. And, well, that face is basically clean. And that face is clean. So, yeah, I think that cleaning up these pieces is going to be a matter of rinsing them off, getting the stickers that are sort of, like, wet and sort of stuck to them, getting those away. And then any goo, just wiping it off with a paper towel, and it should be done. These pieces should be ready to die. So I'm going to do a little bit of work here, and then um, I'll show off the results. All right, I got uh, most or all of the stickers out. Uh, well, there's still some clear plastic ones. Um, I just I pulled the pieces out and made sure that they didn't come with any stickers and put them in a different container. Then I got all the stickers out of the bottom, and then I put them back in. And I've caught a couple clear stickers, or, or the surface of a sticker that peeled away, probably in the denatured alcohol. Um, but in general, the pieces look great. They seem to be clean. There's still clear stickers, some in here that I just didn't, I missed. Um, they look great. They look clean. They're basically sticker-free, except for the one or two stickers I still find here and there. Um, so I think these pieces are ready to be dyed. So I'm going to dye them um, with that puzzle and that puzzle, I'm probably going to use two packs of Rit dye. I'm going to make a separate video of that. Um, even if I didn't get all the clear stickers out of here, they're no longer bonded to the surface, so they're not going to affect the dyeing process. They're, they're just going to, you know, they're just going to float to the top or, or just sort of be stuck in there. They'll get dyed themselves, but they're not going to impact uh, the surface of these pieces and whether or not they actually get dyed. Um, so I'm quite pleased. To recap, if you put these pieces in a hydrocarbon like mineral spirits or VMMP naphtha, or if you don't have either one of those, lighter fluid will work. And you soak them for a few hours. Um, I was doing it overnight, but if you soak them for you know between two and maybe six hours, um, all of the stickers are going to come off, and all of the goo is going to come off, and it won't require really any manual labor on your part other than removing some stray stickers here and there. Um, and that's way, way better than trying to pull them off by hand and having to worry about the goo that, that gets left on the puzzle. So I'm quite pleased with the results. Um, yeah, I think it worked very, very well. So thanks for watching.